story time of the bridesmaid who accidentally told me that she hated me. I do just want to quickly say that I'm only going to say this story because it just fit the trend yesterday. Like, I don't sit here and think about it. There's no negative feelings. And this is going to be a longer video. It just is. There's no way that I can make it a quick thing. Flashback to whenever I was engaged. First things first, you get all your girls together. I had nine bridesmaids and I was really excited to ask everybody to be a part of my bridal party. And I had one specific friend the bridesmaid, who I was hanging out with pretty frequently. With that being said, I have always known who my maid of honor was going to be. Even before I met Zach, my best friend from college, my sorority sister, I've just always known. Whenever I asked all my girls to be my, my bridesmaids, I started noticing really weird behavior from this one specific bridesmaid after I asked my maid of honor to be my maid of honor. And by that, I mean she would start to make comments like, I wish I hung out with new people. I want to make new friends. And she would say it to me, like only to me. It would have been a red flag. It was a red flag back then. But I just told myself, you know what? I'm busy wedding planning. Maybe that's where it's stemming from. She met a girl and we're going to call her friend number one. And later on, there's going to be friend number two. But for now, it's just my bridesmaid and friend number one. Friend number one, I met. At one point, we were even like a little trio of friendship. She was even a guest at my wedding. At some point, I was booted out of that friendship. Again, I know that should have been a red flag, but I just, again, I kept telling myself like, I'm really busy wedding planning and that's just not an area that they can relate to or want to be involved in right now. After a little while, in would come friend number two. So now my bridesmaid is in a trio kind of friendship with these two other girls, one who I've met, friend number one, and friend number two I have never met. To this day, I've never met. On the day that she accidentally told me that she hated me, we had been drinking, and she told me that she wished that she hung out with me and my maid of honor and just me and my friends all together. And I was like, that is a great idea. Maybe we can all hang out. We, could, we can all be one massive friend group. And instantly, she said verbatim, my friends would think that it was weird as fuck if I asked them to hang out with you. And that comment literally shocked me to my core. I physically felt my heart do something. I was like, are you sure? I, I know, you know, friend number one, we've hung out. Like I thought we were friends. She's like, no, look, I'll show you. She whips her phone out and she pulls up a group message between her and these two other girls. One who I've met, one who I've never met. And they're literally just shitting on me. There's even screenshots of mine and my bridesmaids messages like in there. I was referred to as a toxic ex-boyfriend who she can't get rid of. Um, the girl that I've never met before, in all capital letters, there's a message from her saying, I hate her. And just a group message where they're just shitting on me. And mind you, this is my best friend just drunkenly showing this to me. Unfortunately, I had no backbone. I really didn't because friend number one was even a guest at my wedding. And I just, I had a lot of love for my bridesmaid. I truly, she'd been my best friend for several years. I genuinely just did not have a backbone. And I let her convince me that this was kind of all just like a drunken misunderstanding. And she didn't mean it. And the messages were... Even saying it out loud, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Ultimately, she did stand up there in my bridal party beside me on my wedding day. Um, and like I said, that's on me. That's on nobody else. But we would never see or hang out with each other ever again after that. And I wouldn't, I never got an explanation until about a year later. I got a random text from her. And I got to give it to her. It was a no bullshit apology. It literally was like, I'm sorry. You did not deserve that excuse me sorry you did not deserve that I surrounded myself with mean girls therefore I became a mean girl and literally just just owning it and just saying sorry I did accept the apology like I said I had a lot of love for this human and we shared a lot of really happy memories together so I accepted the apology but we've never seen or spoken to each other since I forgot to mention that one day after my wedding I just woke up and my bridesmaid and friend number one had just unfollowed me on social media so flash forward a couple months they all have a falling out and friend number one tries refollowing me on social media and it was honestly just really triggering to me just because like I said, I never got an explanation and I, I never understood why it was happening. So I just flat out messaged her and I said, hey, I don't want you to feel like you have the right to follow me. You guys bullied me for several months and for no apparent reason. And I got to give it to her too because she owned up to and she said, you're right. We were mean to you for no reason and I'm sorry that I made you feel that way. And I'm sorry I was involved in that. Blah, blah, blah. I just didn't respond. Friend number two, like I said, I've never met her. We'll most likely never meet her. So the fact that I saw her say those things about me. I just genuinely just not a nice person. I don't want to meet her. And that's the story. That's the tea. I didn't mean to open a can of worms. I just thought that this situation really fit the trend well yesterday. But it is what it is. Just a classic case of like high school mean girl bullying. But we're happy and we're thriving now. <laughs>